So this default route in our application works for most scenarios, but there are situations where we need a route with multiple parameters. For example, in our video rental app, we may want to have a route like this, where we can get the movies by the release year and month. So let me show you how to create a custom route. In route config class, before our default route, we call route.map route. The reason you need to add this route before the default route is because the order of this route matters. You need to define them from the most specific to most generic. Otherwise, a more generic route will be applied to a URL and that's not what you want. This method has a few overloads. The one we use most of the time is the one that takes three parameters, name, URL, and default. So let's give our new route a name. And this name should be unique. So movies by release date. Now let's put this on a new line to keep the code consistent and clean. Next parameter is the URL pattern. So movies slash released. Here we need two parameters, year and month. I note that I've enclosed these parameters in curly braces. Now, the third argument. We need to specify the defaults. We use an anonymous object for that. So, new anonymous object. Here we set the name of the controller to movies and the action to by release date. That's it. That's how we define a custom route. Now let's create this action. So save, back to movies controller. I show you a quick way to create an action. Type MVC action four and press tab. So this is another code snippet. So we call this by release date. This action takes two parameters, year and month. For the month, we could use a byte because the largest number we want here is 12 but it doesn't really matter. Now here, again, I want to return simple content. So year plus slash plus month. Now build, back to the browser. Let's navigate to movies slash released. I'm not specifying any parameters. We got a 404 error because our URL has not matched any of our route patterns. Now let's put the year and the month. So our route parameters are here. We can also add constraints to our route. For example, let's say we want to enforce that the year and month parameters to be four and two digits respectively. So back in our route definition, we supply another argument to map route method. Again, we use an anonymous object. And here we can use regular expressions to apply constraints. So I want the year to be four digit number. So set it to a verbatim string backslash D, which represents a digit. And the number in curly braces represents the number of repetitions. The reason I put an at sign here is because backslash is an escape character and if you don't use at sign here, we'll have to add another backslash and this looks a little bit ugly. So undo, that's better. Now similarly, I'm gonna set month to a regular expression, backslash D with two digits. Build, back to the browser. Now if I refresh, we got a 404 error and that's because of our constraint. But if you add a zero here, everything works. Now let me show you another example. Let's say we want to constrain the year to 2015 and 2016. Now this doesn't quite make sense in the context of listing movies by year, but sometimes you may want to limit the route parameters to a few specific values. Again, we can use a regular expression to apply that constraint. So I'm going to change this to 2015 
or 2016. So this is how we define custom routes in ASP.NET MVC. In the next lecture, I will show you a cleaner way to create a custom route.